Alpine has confirmed that Pierre Gasly will drive alongside Esteban Ocon for their team in 2023, although the two have sometimes disagreed on issues. Indeed, the two are incompatible with one another. Even so, Alpine is taking a risk, and we will soon know if this was a good move. Welcome back guys! Will Ocon and Gasly be the most significant rival on the grid? Could this be an end to their feud? Would you like to know more about this topic? Then, relax, you are in the right place, as today's video will share our opinion on this topic. So sit tight. First up, why are F1 drivers always at war? The first, if not the only, barrier to personal victory for F1 drivers is their teammates. In contrast to other sports, where teammates cooperate and develop a mutual understanding to achieve collective success, they are a competitive group, and some will do anything to establish themselves as the best. When two drivers square off against one another, Formula 1 is at its best, and even better when these drivers do so within the walls of the same team. The foundation of the most famous rivalries in sports history lies in this idea, and the notion of a team is divided into two. These rivalries can arise from a conflict of personalities, a struggle for dominance, and frequently a particular Mr. Perfect. Now, let's discuss Ocon and Gasly. Ocon and Gasly once had a close friendship, and the Beyond the Grid podcast, they both discuss it. But something goes wrong later. Indeed, to succeed, the two Frenchmen had to compete with one another. It did not make for the most beautiful scenes because both parties were motivated to win. Not only did the two ex-friends occasionally face off, but the parents of both drivers occasionally lost control of their emotions. They are already in F1 and much older, and both are 26 years old, but they both share the same dream of leading the French team there. Next, we would take a quick look at the personalities of both drivers and see if this collaboration could go wrong. But before we go on, there's an urgent need for speed. So match on those accelerators and go straight to the subscription button. Gasly messes up at Red Bull. At AlphaTauri or Toro Rosso, Gasly has been the front runner and has only recently displayed a less impressive side of himself. However, in this case, you could still make the case that he was already half checked out when he declared his departure for Alpine, even though he voiced very negatively about the team and the car. Furthermore, Gasly fought with a teammate and was nowhere to be found. We only observed Gasly's most significant issues at Red Bull Racing. He was not only outmatched by his teammate, Max Verstappen, on all fronts, but his teammates also despised him because he insisted on doing things his way. Although Alexander Albon was not much faster than the Frenchman after only 6 months, Red Bull did not give the thigh an extra year at the top team for nothing. Ocon disagrees with everyone. Check Ocon. Now, he is at odds with almost every F1 teammate. For example, Sergio Perez, who generally got along with other drivers, had a major beef with Ocon, and the two nearly collided with the wall while traveling to Euroge. A major inner conflict ensued when Ocon squeezed the blood from under Perez's nails. Fernando Alonso's final appearance also had problems, although he proved to be the better driver of the two and was brought in as the front runner. Alonso had an awful day a few weeks ago. However, Ocon could not help but mention briefly that he was the only driver, aside from Lewis Hamilton, to defeat Alonso in the standings throughout the season and that he was responsible for 98% of the work at Alpine. Alonso did nothing, to put it another way. So, whose fault would it be if there were a rivalry? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. Remember to like, share, and drop your opinions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.